One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. If you kept all of the complicated shit, like if you guys approached a trade and was like, oh, dude, I really can't decide Batman, but like, should I? Anything that's not, oh my God, I have, yeah, duh. Anything that's not, yeah, duh. Like, oh, let me put an order here. Like anything that's not an automatic, oh yeah, well, I got to do that, right? And I'll, and even in my own trades, I'll notice the, the trades that I think about the hardest, um, the win ratio on those fucking trades are just shit. Like the win ratio on the ones where, oh uh, yeah, Clone Wars, um, yeah, the, the, the win ratio on the trades where I, I really like have a, like a monologue in my head of whether I should take, or I'm really trying to justify it's normally on stock. It's normally on days where, uh, there's not a whole lot of opportunity or, um, like if the opportunity has passed, I'm really trying to force, like, uh, like I kind of missed it and I'm really trying to force a trade on it somehow. Like those kind of trades where I really have to debate with myself back and forth, back and forth. Those are always the trades that like, that don't pay over time. Those are the ones where I might win, I might lose, and it's like, oh, whatever. It's like, oh, like, oh yeah, cool, I won. I didn't go big because I can't. Like, and oh, I lost. Like, well, you know, like, duh, I lost. It was kind of, it, it wasn't, it wasn't that like, oh, look at that. Well, I, I forget what stock it was, but it was so automatic that trade that I took yesterday. It was like that 16 ALF or something like that. Like, fucking shit popped up dropped down, you know, fucking shit popped up, broke with authority, the range, and just like, oh, well, if it gets back here, I want to buy it. Put an order there, oh, it dropped, I got filled, it popped. And those are the kind of trades that really, like, that, like, all you guys really need to be fucking just honing in on doing just those kind of trades. The, the simplest trades that you can find are going to be your best trade. Yeah, textbook is the right word. If, if it's not a textbook trade, and you don't have consistency, don't take it. Like really, don't go for that big trade. Don't go for the trades that I go for. Like the trades that I go for are really nuanced. They're really, you know, like, you know, they're really um, uh, honed in on like specific things that I'm looking for and specific tolerances that I have. Um, and, you know, like those trades where you see Val or uh, I mean, like shorting above view up, fucking drop those too. You guys don't need to be doing that. Like th that takes a specific level of experience. What you guys want are those basic fucking trades, you know, like those layups where it's not going to be a huge gain. It, it has greater than 50% win ratio. Uh, you know, like if you can get one to one or one or two to one, even that's great on some, anything one to one or two to one on just more than 50% uh, probability, that's your ballpark, right? And focus on, because here's the thing with those kinds of trades. Those are the base hit trades that you're going to get, but you still have to not fuck up to make that profitable. Like if you slip, right? If you get stubborn, if you like, it goes to your stop and then you don't stop, you know, you go, oh, let me see. You, you kind of do that kind of shit or, you know, you, you, know, you kind of miss the entry and you fucking chase it up a little bit and you get that risk reward less than one to one, or like it, it comes time to sell and you like move your order up, you know, or down on your cover and you kind of move that, you know, that kind of shit is that execution in the moment stuff that um, is going to fuck up the layups, right? That's what really fucks up the layups. If you just like, if you come go into the fucking trade, I guess there's a rant in this webinar and the rant is now. Um, but if you go into that day trading and you, you know, you see that layup, you see that first bounce trade. Uh, I think it's okay to short this off for. This is like, I, I'd probably be short bias on this kind of stock. I don't even know what the news was. It probably doesn't matter because it's ONCS. But on the seventh, oh, look at that. Jumps on anti-cancer gene therapy trial collaboration with Merck and Melanoma. Okay, so it's got potential. It's really got potential. Uh, like it could do something, but here's, here's the sketchy part. Like, that's why it made such a big move. Like this move was caused because Merck was in the fucking PR. Like after hours, this move was in, oh my God, a PR. It says collaboration with Merck. It's after hours is low liquidity. Oh my God. Let's go, 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 go. Right. That's what made it go all the way up here to 580. 
um, because like if Merck wasn't in the title, this wouldn't have happened. And so, um, but we, so it's again, there's an asterisk, like it's got Merck, but if it was really good news, why did it tank? Right? Why did it tank? But anyway, there is that. So you know that there is a bullet, like, and so you can guess that the people buying this are buying this because of, of the Merck name. But anyway, it does pop, and I think that you can short this off for, and you'd get a nice cover as long as you were nailing bail. Um, I, I don't know if you want to, I don't know what the volume is like. Actually, you, you might even, you could have held this for more. You honestly could have held this for a bigger game because the volume is really light. You'd still have to cover some here just because, I mean, that, that's a good move for a short. But, you know, if you end up stopping out the rest here at four, that's okay too. But I do think that there is a short here on four. 100% there is a short here on four because of the, for the reasons just stated, right? This, this need, you know, this is when this kind of move fell apart. This is where you think that like it has to hold. So when we get up here as a short seller, you can reverse engineer that and be like, or spiking all of them. This is a short on four. And because there's low volume, if, if you were a short seller that wanted to hold this for a fade, uh, I, I don't blame you. I think that's a, it's, it's honestly not even a bad hold for, for more game. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I would definitely fault you for not covering something here. You have to cover something here. Just on principle, you have to. Anyway, so let's say that you did short, and um, I wouldn't first bounce this long, by the way. It rejected four, and it needs to be above four. For me, the whole trade would be above four. So, honestly, if I were going to long something like this, my thesis would be on four. This is a potential long spot for me, risking, you know, something like 385. Uh, I, I, could, I could place a feeler long. I know it's at the high, but again, it, it's everything for me would be based off that four. So this is where I could buy, or I could dip by this at four as well. Once we break four, I would not be shorting into this at all because there's simply no level to really, there's this level. It's not that significant. Like this level is not that significant. It's, it's the best you got. Uh, but again, like it's got Merck in the name. I probably wouldn't fuck with the short there at 420. I probably wouldn't fuck with that short. I, you know, when that happened, I'd probably let it go, um, see what it wanted to do. You know, this is, you know, this is a short area for me. I probably would avoid this long because the volume sucks. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.